Hey there, my name is Hazal. I'm a developer advocate here at VM. We are excited to have you use TryVM, which is an experience that lets you have control over a rover at our office for 15 minutes or more. Don't know where to start? We got you. All you need is a computer or a mobile device, and by the end, you'll be able to see how easy it is to configure the rover and teleoperate the rover from wherever you are. Ready to dive in? Let's go! First things first, you're going to head to app.vm.com. Sign into your existing account or create a new one. Once logged in, select the Try tab on the landing page. Click Try Now. If the rover is available, wait patiently until the robot is set up. This could take about 30 seconds. If not, you'll be shown how long your wait time is and you will receive an email once your rover is ready. When the robot is up and running, click Try Your Robot. This will take you to your robot configuration. In the control panel, click on your base and then select both cameras available. If you like to use a camera for other purposes, such as exporting screenshots, scroll down to the cam or overhead cam section. Click on the camera view to expand. Toggle view camera. Change the frequency. Click export screenshots. Now, enable your keyboard and get ready to write. To drive your rover, move W, S, A, and D or the directional keys on your keyboard. Alternatively, you can control the rover with a gamepad. Scroll down and enable the web game pad to use this feature. Just note that each time you show or hide a camera, you will need to enable your keyboard again. Now let's take a look at the motors named right and left accordingly. Their initial state is idle, but you can click on each panel to control them separately and change their direction of rotation or speed. Anytime you click out of VM's base panel, it will automatically disable your keyboard. If you're looking to drive, enable this again. When your time's up, you will see the button says finished in the try VM page. If no one else is in the queue, click try now to write again. That's all for this tutorial.